Hey guys, welcome back to another special episode of Captain Kirk Productions. Today on the show again we have Drake. I see a big stack of comics and they all look really cool. We got some big, big some bangers big, here. Big dogs. Absolutely. We're hitting wow. some dingers out today. Woo! That's exciting. Guys, this is going to be a comic haul video of the past several months. I haven't done one of these in a while, but... I've been out there, I've been doing my thing, wheeling and dealing, checking out stores, all that good stuff. So today, I want to show you what we've been picking up. We're going to start with our friends at Fantastic Four, and we're going to start with issue number 46. This is the first full appearance of Black Bolt, who I'm now hearing rumblings, um, is going to be potentially in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, which at this point, I mean, it sounds who's like not? Every, yeah, who's not? Who's and not? I can tell you, maybe like Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern won't be in it, but everything else everyone is fair else. game. You know, you have a few black bolts already. Well, I did. You sold uh, them all. Well, the I had three, and two of the three I sent off to Red Hood Comics in my oh, right. uh, special Ninja Turtles number one deal. Right. So. This is just an extra one I have. Um, probably send this off to you to get graded. I'll have to check and see, like yeah. price wise. I might just you know keep it or. It looks it. pretty beat up. It's low grade for sure. But the other ones are a little higher, weren't they? Oh yeah, mine was like an eight zero or eight five. Okay. Well, at least my highest one. The other ones were like seven five, I think. All but right. I think I got this down in Cincinnati when I went to go oh. check out some comics with my friend. Uh, uh, Mark. Nice. Okay. So, all, all right. right, we got that Let's one. Let's keep it rolling. And then a couple, just you know, just simple Ooh. comics. We got Secret Wars number one. Now, how hot is this book? I mean, it's it, heating up a little bit. It really is, and you know, you can get it for still very cheap. And yeah. I, you know, I think it's it's just a good investment. I think. Yeah, I got that for like twenty twenty five bucks, something like that. I mean, and it looks in great condition as well. And then this, and then also Secret Wars number eight is the one with the black suit Spider Man, mm, which I yeah. bought that. And I think it's at grading right now. I'm pretty sure because it's been a, a while. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's at grading. So I added that one to the collection as well. Love it. And then what I just picked up some just simple DC number ones because Let's why check not? them out. We got Deathstroke number one, which I love Deathstroke, first of all. Yeah. Like the Batman Arkham games, Deathstroke is in one of those as one of the villains and yep. he's awesome i also love deathstroke on arrow and teen titans like i feel like he's very underutilized and also joe maganello technically is deathstroke in the dc oh, right. universe but and what about this batman superman number one you know what um i don't know i just kind of thought that the cover was cool so i picked that one up again it's just a number one issue so why not now back to this deathstroke it this is just his first, like, has he... Like had, a first run. Like has he's he ever had, had a run? Yeah, he's oh, had other runs. He's had, he's had the runs he's before. Had some few runs. Yeah, this is just a different, you know, a different series. But yeah, he's okay. he's been in it before. Cool. All right. <clears throat> and then we have some reprints. If these were real, that'd be pretty awesome. But we have a Brave and the Bull 28 reprint. Love reprints. This one you are actually already own. I own two of them. So I got the uh, 4.0 that's the green label because the page is missing. Right. And then the 2.0 that's blue label. So, yeah. Got a couple copies of those, which are beautiful. Unfortunately, I don't have an actual copy of this, but this is action number one. It's pretty much the first you know, superhero is, comic. Is that really the thickness of the original? Uh, I don't know. Or they just know. throw some uh, modern day Those stuff older books were pretty big. Were they? So it wouldn't surprise me, but I honestly couldn't tell you. This is cool. And then moving on, we got Infinity Gauntlet number one. Yeah, you see that. I feel like you see it everywhere. And you think so? I'd see it everywhere. It's a first of all, it's a cool cover. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I mean, I don't know. I, because of the movie, I feel like everyone kind of displays them, and they're cool. Yeah, I mean, most people probably have one in their collection. I yeah. don't up until this point, but yeah, when those movies are out, those I mean, that book was yeah. pretty expensive, and now it's just it's not. That I bad. mean, yeah. I, it was like what twenty bucks on there. Yeah. No. So that's not bad. Cool. Now here we're getting into some. All right. Some big bangers. All right. Here we go. Now this is exciting. This is Star Wars number two. two. Number two. So this is the Very first appearance cool. of Obi Wan Kenobi <clears throat> and some other people I can't recall, but that's just kind of the main main one. Now, you remember? You, do I remember what? Is who else is in this one? You oh remember? no. Um. I, I do you not were like the Star Wars person. Well, so uh, Captain Kirk, you have Star Wars number one, of course, mm -hmm. which has really shot up in value actually the last <laughs> few years. Yeah, 
And so, I mean, that's a great one to have. And then you also have Star Wars 43, 42. 42 Whatever is, the first Yoda is, right? 42 is Boba, right? Uh, yes. Okay. And maybe, so we'll have to, we'll, and so maybe first Yoda is what, I don't know, 41. Or, Speaking of which, I need, I don't know where that is. <laughs> We've got to find that. I thought it was in the stack, but no worry. We'll show it off at some point. Oh, great. Point. But yeah, but, so we had first Yoda, right? Yeah, I wanted to pick this Star Wars 2 up before this new Disney Plus series came out. Oh, it comes yeah. out because I feel like it's going to obviously go up because people are going to want to collect it. Very good book. But yeah, 50 bucks on that sucker. That's pretty pretty inexpensive. So mm-hmm. cool. next moving on, we have Strange Tales 159. This is just kind of a minor key first appearance of... Contessa Valentina, or... Is that how you say it? I think so. <laughs> but Julie Louis-Dreyfus actually plays this character, and she's been... I know she was in Black Widow. I don't know what else she's been in recently that I can recall. That might be it. How, how much did this set you back? Oh, that was another 50 burger. 50. Yeah. And so this was... Were these at in the, the toy shop, or are these somewhere else? I think that was in the toy shop. You know, for the toy shop, they typically... Their comics typically don't... Come, come in great condition just because you know, the, the Star nature. Wars 2 was from the toy shop but it was from like one of the dealer's <clears throat> cases so okay. maybe a little bit it, and so yeah like you can see uh, that's a bit better quality than this one but it's not bad no I mean it's a good good key cool alright next up we have Wolverine Ooh, number one this look at that classic Frank Miller cover I mean everyone loves this cover and I got this from the bookery and typically the undergrade stuff but as we found out with Bane 1 that's maybe not the case but anyway most of the time they undergrade things and you know you come out with a really nice book they said this was a 9-0 so yeah uh, this one again is always one that people collect it's just a sweet cover it is and you know I saw this again you kind of see this everywhere but I saw this at the toy shop and it was going way it seems the like a long time ago. Idea? Yeah. Huh. But, of course, it wasn't in this condition. But they were they were selling for, like, you know, not very much. Yeah. A couple, like, 20 bucks. But this is nice. Now, these last two, these are these are the beefy ones, okay? First off, this book needs no introduction. Hulk Whoa. 180. First cameo appearance of Wolverine. It's not as collected as 181. We don't talk about that. But, hey, it's a very cool book. It's too bad you couldn't find 181. Well, I never owned this book. Really? So I just had the opportunity, and I said, yeah, why not? Wow. YOLO. I was already spending a lot of money on this 181. Oh, oh my gosh. Can you believe that? Wow. What's very crazy to me about this is this, I mean, the 181, it's pretty common. Yes. I've now, this is the third time I've owned it. Yeah. And it just keeps, you know, it comes to me, it, it goes away, back. it comes back. Like, it's it's just like a, like, we break up, we get back together, like, it's... In, in any condition, it's, it's going for a lot these days, right? Yeah, so when I first picked up a copy about three years ago, that was when it, it was just rocketing up. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> So I found one at a local, you know, local dealer here in Columbus. Um, he said it was a 3.0, it came back at 2.5, but it was still like a good, decent yeah. price on it. I forget. I I sold it, traded. I can't remember what I did with it. But I also got a 7.5 in a trade mm. for a Detective 359 with someone in California, I believe it was, mm. a few years ago. So I had the 7.5 for all, but sent off the 7.5 in my Ninja Turtles deal. I had, right. to, I had to bring some big books got to the to. table. Yeah, got and to. then this one comes up, and I got a good price on it. It looks in decent shape. So, so I would say the 180 doesn't – I mean, it still looks in good shape, but but there, it's a little bit more It's definitely more up. worn, yeah. But, I, I mean, this – this 181 looks in really good condition. It's really nice. I mean, I it's mean, there's mu- some. It's much you got better. some spine ticks. You got a little stain right there. I don't know if that can maybe get you know, yeah. cleaned out, but overall, at least looking at the cover, it's pretty decent. I, I mean, would say like what would you say? Like a mid grade. I would think a little. I mean, at least what six five. Yeah, that's mid. That's mid. Yeah. I mean, that would be pretty good, right? I think I mean, so. Seven would be. I'm amazing. happy to have it back. I. Am. You know, awesome. I had to give up the other one reluctantly, but 
again, with all these multiverse and things happening, like this is already a crazy expensive book. Like it just is going to continue to go up and up. So I wanted to again get it before it just got ridiculously priced out, and I was having to buy like a two O for like ten grand or whatever the case wow, is, right? Crazy. So. Yeah, I really need to look at Star Wars comic. I thought it was in this bundle. We'll have to show that off another time. We need to figure out, is it 43? It ha- I think Boba Fett is 42 and the Yoda is 43. 43. That's we actually showed this off on the wrong. channel before for my, my birthday. Yeah, that's but right. yeah, I still, I still need to find it. Yeah. It's at my apartment. Don't Slowly, worry, Slowly, you're collecting more Star Wars books. I yeah, mean, you only have a few. For right? a while, like nobody was really interested in them, and that's kind of when I bought my Star Wars one, and it was pretty inexpensive. But now with you know the movies, obviously didn't do right. But the TV series, they're doing good with well, the TV series at least. Yeah, and it's just cool. I mean, these I I, I feel like all the Star Wars covers are really cool looking. Yeah, and my my dad had the original thirteen through sixteen oh, issues. Right. I don't know if those will ever become anything. I don't really know who's in those. Thirteen through still, sixteen. What? I think so. Sixteen. Thir- thirteen, fourteen. Oh. Fifteen, sixteen. Thirteen through sixteen. Yeah, I got you. Okay, so guys. Leave a comment down below. What was your favorite comic from this haul? What are some awesome books that you found out there hunting or at stores that were good values that you pulled the trigger on? I'd like to hear from you. And Drake, I think that they should like the video, they should subscribe, and maybe even turn on notifications. Ooh. Tell a couple buddies. We're just going to hang out. We're going to talk comics. We're, you know, like we're friends. That's and what we do. Just join the ride. It'll be fun. We so, do it because we enjoy it. Absolutely. Guys, have a great week, and we'll see you next week.